This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I really emphasized my name then, didn't I, Luke? Um, okay, so where do we start? Um, my boss is in front, following, following my boss. Uh, we are going to like, well, central London. I don't think you can get much central. We're like, we're going to Tower Bridge. <laughs> There's like a park area there, Potter's. Potter's Park or something, right next to Tower Bridge. Um, that is where we're going. We're going to pick up some port loos port loo toilets. Um, so we're, we're on our way there. We're empty right now. We're going to go pick them up and then bring them back to Swindon. That is literally what we're doing today. And also getting reloaded, I believe, for tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we are we are in, in London. This is Hammersmith, I believe. Ham well, we're on Hammersmith flyover. We got to go uh, over Vauxhall Bridge and then go through Kensington to get to, uh, to, to the Tower Bridge. We're going to be on the south side of Tower Bridge. Uh, the the uh, Tower of London is north side of Tower Bridge, so we won't be close to the Tower of London, but we'll be able to probably maybe see it. We'll have to see. We've got to go park up first. Now, we're, we're, we're parking up around the corner. Where there's a holding space. I can't remember what it was called. Hang on one second. As soon as we're not moving. Druid Street. There's a, there's a holding space on Druid Street, which is... Hello. Motorcyclist. Pain. We've got to watch out for him. Uh, yeah, there's a holding place on Druid Street, and um, according to the Google Maps, when we park up there, we should... The shard should be right in front of us on the left. Nice and high, so we should be able to see the shard in a little while. What's this motorcyclist doing? Um, and maybe see Tower Bridge and Tower of London and, and all that, and the Thames and... Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Now, about <laughs> about four, maybe five years ago, when I first got my Class 2 licence, uh, well, it would have been nearly six years ago, nearly six years ago, when I nearly when I first got my Class 2 licence, um, me and the wife, she wasn't my wife at the time, we're going to get separated here, aren't we? We are going to get separated here. Traffic keep going, traffic keep going, traffic keep going, traffic keep going. Can't block, can't block this yellow line up. Can't block this yellow line up. Okay, traffic's going. Traffic's going. This is why London is a nightmare. Because you can't. I don't really want to lose him, but also if I got to lose him, I got to lose him because I can't stop on yellow markings. Anyway, <laughs> nearly six years ago, when uh, me and my now wife came to London for the first time, um, I remember categorically saying, "I never want to drive a lorry in London." That was class two let alone an Arctic, and this is going to be the most central I've ever driven into London. So this is uh, it's an experience for me. Uh, I've delivered to London many, many times and all around London, including Hammersmith, where we are now, but never quite centre, city centre of London. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Anyway, we are only seven miles away, only seven miles, but it's another hour away in terms of driving. That's how you know you're in London. Right, we're going to do a time lapse until we get a bit closer. See you I met you on a sunny day. Right there, you took my breath away. A young and pretty, you was it just a dream? The next day, you called me up. You told me I'm your little buttercup. You came over and you fell into my arms. Well, I know what I feel. Please tell me I love you. Oh, 
Well, it's all going on in London. Come on then. That's a big bump. Right. <laughs> London, man, is just a... It's one of those places where you've got to have eyes at your back of your head everywhere. Like, there's motorcyclists just darting in between you. You've got emergency services trying to get past. Horns blasting for no apparent reason. What was that for? No idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, though. I quite like driving in London, in a way, because it's, like, a challenge. But it's just... Other road users just don't give you room. Also, I've noticed a lot of uh, a lot of these places have got 20 mile an hour speed limits now as well. It slows things down a little bit, which makes it a bit a bit nicer. We're gonna have to get over. Look, there's a lorry over there in lane one. This Range Rover hasn't noticed. I'll flash him in. Off you go. This is like, it's just a boy on that bike. Like, he looks young anyway. I'm allowing him room. Oh, that car's been repossessed or something by the looks of it. Yeah, so I am going to be a little bit more quieter with regards to talking, because obviously concentration is key at the moment in London, like this. Um, windows are down there's no music playing it's just full-on concentration like this looks like a naughty little left turn I'm gonna have to see both lanes for there's that bike again I wonder if we get any horns beeped at us for this bit because we're gonna have to oh, there we go more sirens Yeah, just eyes at the back of your head all the time. We're only 5.7 miles away. 38 minutes to get there. <laughs> Go on, yeah, have a little chat, mate. Have a little chat, both of you. It's not like uh, you slow me down or anything. They just went for a red light as well, man. Do they not stop for lights? Right, we've got the Thames right in front of us. We're going to be driving alongside it, parallel to the Thames. <laughs> the River Thames, not the Lake Thames. <laughs> I called it a lake the other day. Yeah, River. River Thames. Right, you want a better left. More sirens, over to the left. Right, there's the River Thames on the right-hand side. We are now running parallel to the Thames. Oh, look. There's my boss. Give him a flash. He's waited for me, look. Got a cyclist on the left. It's like Suicide Squad, it really is. That's what they should do, Suicide Squad. Just just get like a load of cyclists. Mr. Cyclist. I mean, I am having a look around to see if I uh, recognise any buildings. I'm afraid I don't. I really don't know. Is, what, what bridge is that? No idea. Maybe someone can put in the comments, timestamp. That was that bridge. Well, that was that building. I'm taking up both lanes here. Let's see if anyone tries to overtake. That's a bit of a kink in the road. I don't want to take anyone out. I'd rather just take up both lanes. There's a lorry reversing. Well, I say a lorry, like a van reversing back, causing a little bit of trouble, I think. 
If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There's a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Green light, we're going to move. More horn beeping. How much room do you want? Is this one lane or two? I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> that was the wrong side. <laughs> London. How many times am I going to say London in this in this vlog? Got some gardens on the left-hand side of us. Bez, are there Besborough Gardens, potentially? Is that a Battersea Power Station? I think, to the right of me. I think so. Is that a thing? It rings a bell. Ba, 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 ba. We're only three and a half miles away now, and uh, still 30 minutes, apparently. Anywhere else, you do those three and a half miles in about five minutes. But in London, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> it is quite nice. Well, I wouldn't say nice, but it's uh, convenient for the cyclists to have their own sort of, let's call it a blue lane. Is it a blue lane? I don't know. At least it's uh, well distinguished. And the bollards as well. I mean, it's probably a bit of a nuisance for traffic, but if I were a cyclist, I mean, I'm talking rubbish now. I'd never be a cyclist. I don't want to be hated that much. Now, if you were to look at a map um, where it actually says the word London on the map, that is about, I don't know, maybe half a mile up the road, <laughs> if that. Maybe a, a, minute, a minute's drive up the road is where the London is. We are literally city centre in London. We are going to be taking a right, though, I believe. My sat-nav says we're taking a right. Hopefully the boss takes a right. <laughs> Um, to, on Vauxhall Bridge in about 350 yards. I think if everyone just had a bit of patience, London would be fine. It's, it's the fact that if you mess up and you're in the wrong lane and, and you indicate to get over, no one lets you out. And it's just the constant horn blasting, like, if someone's cut you up, why do you need to honk your horn? I just don't get it. I'm, like, it's not needed. If you've got, in my opinion, if you've got time to honk your horn, you've got time to avoid the situation. Therefore, there, there isn't a problem if you can avoid it, do you know what I mean? That's the way I see it, anyway. <laughs> it's that kid again, look, on the, on the Just Eat. Can you see him on the camera? I don't think you can. He's just on there on the right-hand side. He's crossing, crossing the road now. You should, should be able to see him. Orange bag. No, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Just goes to show you can genuinely get around quicker on a bike <laughs> than you can in a vehicle. If I lived in London, would I ride a bike? Probably would, to be fair. Maybe I should come to London and lose some weight. Right, Vauxhall Bridge. We are now on the Thames. On the Thames. A lot of, size, a lot of uh, cranes about, isn't it? Sorting out this side of London. Ah, a petrol station in London. <laughs> don't see many of them. Well, I I don't. <laughs> I've actually wondered that. Like, they must have petrol stations in London somewhere. <laughs> I've never thought about it. That took me by surprise. That. I wonder if I keep this bit in the vlog. Might sound like an idiot. <laughs> right, two two miles away. Just two miles. Still twenty minutes though. Narrow lanes do not overtake cyclists. But I bet cyclists will overtake you, though, won't they? Just keep cycling, just keep cycling. What do you do? You cycle, cycle. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, 
What's that building? It's like it's got three propellers on the roof. It's got its own icon on the sat nav and everything. No idea what that building is. Oh, look, there's the shard over there, look. I think. That is the shard, isn't it? Directly in front. Just above me, uh, my boss's cab. The shard. I'm taking up two lanes. Do not attempt to go either side of me, you cars. Elephant and castle station. Elephant. Elephant? Why would you call it elephant? Come on, the lights when you're ready, turn green. Come on, you've been red for, red for ages, man. Come on. Getting a bit, getting a bit where you got to look everywhere. Then taking up two lanes because there's no way you get an Arctic round this roundabout in one lane without taking something or someone out. Look at this. There's no way is it designed for Arctic. Just keeping an eye on everything. Right, home stretch, half a mile away. Just half a mile. Five minutes. <laughs> 800 yards. Yeah, it's going to, we're not going to take five minutes. Right, Tower Bridge is literally right in front of us. This is the road that takes you to Tower Bridge, but um, we'll be coming off. We're turning left in 350 yards, where we will be parking up, waiting for confirmation to go round to uh, to get loaded. We've got to go in one at a time. So I suspect when he gets loaded, I suspect they'll probably go, but we'll have to see. He might wait. I don't know. We have to be careful of cyclists on the left hand side coming up when we're at this left turn. There's one there, look. I'm oh, sorry, but I think it should be mandatory for all cyclists to wear hivers. Mandatory. I don't understand why you wouldn't. You'd want to be seen, surely. He's having a good look at the trucks. We'll leave a small gap for the uh, walkway here. Green light up in front, slowly move forward. Another cyclist on the left. Things are gonna start getting tight, mate. I wouldn't, yeah, he's going for it. He's gone. Right, well, my sat-nav says we're making a left at the end of this bridge. Yep. Turn off a sec. Yeah, you can see Tower Bridge right in front of us. I don't think you can on the uh, on the GoPro. It's a bit bright over there. Right, there we go.
它是种。I think this is where we're going to be stopping. You can, there's a shard just up there. Look, do you see it? You see the shard? I don't think you can. Right, windows up. Let's uh, go and find out what's happening. We're going to need an Ivy's. Apparently, we've got permission to park here. Apparently. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, we're in. Uh, all the event stuff is just over there. I've just gone for a quick walk. Because HMS Belfast over there. Uh, Tower of London. Tower Bridge. There we go. We're in London. I met you on a sunny day. Right there, you took my breath away. A young and pretty, you was it just a dream? The next day, you called me up. You told me I'm your little buttercup. You came over and you fell into my arms. Well, I know what I feel. Please tell me I love is real. You make me smile when I think of you. If I get down or when I am blue, I can't get enough. Oh, yes, love. Is. You make From just the thought of you A long blonde hair and your beautiful smile Your sense of humor makes it all worthwhile Don't make me wait, it's not a funny game There's a lamp you know right there I promise you, I did not hit it You make me smile when I think of you If I am down or when I am blue So we parked the truck up and we uh, got in the boss's truck to go where we just were. I'm now uh, walking back. Oh, there it is, I can sit there. Just walking back now to go get the truck and uh, drive on round. So, uh, yeah. Which way is quickest, left or right? I don't know. It's 50 50 choice here, the truck's there. Do I go left or right? I don't know. Let's go right. There she is. Let's, uh, let's get on in and uh, load up. Let's just check to see if the truck's alright first because seeing as I've left it for like five minutes. Right. We are heading round. It's literally just opposite that part there. It's a little bit tight round, but we should be alright. Train going over our head as well. Yeah, that right turn is a bit tight. Might make it, but it's a bit tight. Okay, and we take a right hand turn down here. And 
We can turn green, yeah. <laughs> Scrape the curb, but it should be right. We're just going to keep to the right hand side. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to leave the truck. Yeah. Cars to get past us still on the left side, and uh, yeah, we're in. Happy days. Right, let's, uh, let's go get some more footage from outside. We're done. We are loaded. Just trying to build some air up in the uh, in the truck. Try and get out of, out of here without hitting anything. Just people just don't care. Can I hear a siren? Yeah, police bikes down there. Right. So as I said, we're now leaving. Leaving London, the nightmare place. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what route we're taking out. Just following, uh, just following the boss in front.
pretty sure this is the way we come in. Might be wrong. All looks the same, doesn't it? <laughs> All looks the same. But yeah, we've uh, we've got to head back to Dorking now to get these offloaded. Then we're going to get reloaded again, ready for tomorrow morning, where it's going to Nutsford. Uh, our ETA to Dorking is about three o'clock this afternoon, so we'll get them off. And um, I expect we'll I expect we'll be there for a couple of hours, so it'll probably be about five o'clock. But Dorking's in Swindon anyway, so happy days. Right, let's get out of London. See you in a bit. And there we have it. We are now. Uh, well, we're technically still in London, but we're uh, we're on the M4 now, the motorway. So this is the very, very start of the M4, which goes off obviously all the way to Wales. Yes. Well, it's not technically the start, but it's back there a bit more. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it's interesting. I quite mm, do. I like driving to London. It's all right. You just got to have patience. Expect people to push in which they do all the time. Expect sirens blasting past you and horns beeping. And I got a phone call, so see you in a bit. Okay, back in Swindon, we are on the A419. We're about to come off uh, and head into Dorkin. It's been, uh, it's been an all right drive. We uh, stopped at Redden Services on the way just to uh, get a sandwich. Well, I had a bacon and cheese turnover. It was lush. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, we're here now. So we've got to get these offloaded uh, and then reloaded with, with fresh toilets to go to uh, to Nutsford tomorrow. And then uh, and then that'll be it. So uh, I might get a little bit of footage of uh, of it coming off. And then uh, that would pretty much be it, I'm afraid, for this vlog. But yeah, no, it's quite interesting going into London. So that's, uh, that's the most central I've, I've actually been into London. The most central, so um, yeah, wasn't too bad. It's like I was saying to, to the boss and to my dad earlier on my phone, it's just like, you've got to expect the idiot drivers, you know, read the road. Uh, if you can predict what's going to happen, then, uh, you know, it doesn't bother you. And I, I, I personally think I'm quite a kind, considerate, patient driver in the first place. So, um, you know, we get cut up, as lorry drivers, we get cut up all day, every day. You know, people just want to get in front. You've got to have patience. Uh, and in a place like London, as far as I'm concerned, if you've got plenty of patience, then uh, you should be all right. Should be all right. So, yeah, we're just going to uh, pull up outside, pretty much opposite the gates of Daff. Well, just up past the gates. Where's this tanker going? Tanker's going into Scania. Yeah? It's on. And we pull up here. There's a truck in there already, so we'll have to wait for him to come out. And then uh, we can go on in afterwards. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and have a chat with people. See you in a bit. Right, I didn't didn't actually get any footage of the uh, the truck being loaded, but I can show you now anyway. So we have it. So on this on this load we've got two pods. Well, one big pod, one small pod, and then three tanks on the ass end. We've got to go back to the yard now and do a trailer swap. I'm gonna have the curtain cider, which is loaded with three pods, and uh tee that up to nuts for tomorrow, and then I'll be back on the curtain cider for uh the next one. Uh, yeah, that man got in the vlog. <laughs> right, let's go. Seatbelt on. We're loaded. The boss is uh, just gone in front. As it's off, indicator on. Lovely jubbly. Uh, I would normally take my high-vis off. Well, I wouldn't normally, but... Uh, I would, but we're going to be back in the yard in like... five minutes, so you've got to wear one in the yard. <laughs> 
So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Nice little uh, run into London. Yeah, we can make that. Yeah, nice little run into London. As I said earlier, it's the most central I've ever been. So that was pretty cool. Good experience. Glad I could uh, take you along with me for the ride. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.